Dave here with Imaginator 3D. Today I want to go over a new program that I've run across. Well, I've known about it for a while, I just haven't, haven't done any research on it. But I decided to look at it and start trying to use it and see uh, what all it will do. And it's very powerful. It's called Mesh Mixer and it's by Autodesk 123D. Uh, it works in conjunction with uh, Autodesk 123D Design. Uh, as well as it works with um, MakerWare or MakerBot Desktop, uh, depending on which version it works with both. So here's this is a model that I've been working on. Uh, it's quadcopter, and this is the motor mount right, right here. Okay. Notice that it's still in two pieces, and I haven't combined it because I was going to. I wanted to show you how to do that in. In mesh mixer. So the reason I like these combinate these this, this program used in conjunction with mesh mixer is because they they work side by side. So uh, there's even an icon already in Autodesk 123D to help you to send it right over into the program. So once you highlight it, both subjects that you want to print, then you click the mesh mixer, and it will send it to this software package. Okay, when it comes up, you know automatically you've got two objects that you're looking at. Okay, this is your object browser. And the first thing I want to do. Is I want to because I wanted to handle this mesh as a whole, and if you you, you you can see your mesh, what your mesh looks like here. If you hit the the W hotkey, okay, if you hit it again, it gives you the solid uh, color as well. But we're gonna we're going to do a boolean combine on these, okay. And if you just hold the control key down, you can select both of these in the object browser come over here and we, we want to do a combine okay once we do that notice one disappears and now we have just one object in the object browser which is this item here okay the next thing I'm going to do is I want to uh, I want to make this a solid you can do that under this as well okay and now we have a solid and you have to accept okay and you can also use the hotkey A notice it gives you gives you this STL as well as this one and we want the solid so we're going to I'm just going to delete that really quickly all right now we need to check to see where the plane is and as you can see our plane is is way at the bottom way down here now we could move it down there but there's no need to but I just need to see which way I need to rotate this okay to make it level with with the plane okay so I need to turn this 90 degrees okay, and I'm using the thumb wheel to scroll out and I'm using the right mouse button to, to maneuver around. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I, I clicked on my object, I'm going to transform. Okay. And there, there, there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to, how to manipulate and move objects around. I'm just going to do a quick I'm not really going to talk about these outside buttons here. Just want to talk about I'm going to talk about this one, which essentially rotates your item. Okay, and notice that I'm do, I'm moving in very small increments, about half uh, half a degree in each increment. If I bring my cursor further out here, then I'll move in five degree increments. Okay, I want to I want to rotate at 90 degrees. Now, if I want to move this down towards the plane, I'd grab this arrow here and just move it down there. But there's no reason to that we, we don't need it. And the same with this, you want to move in that direction, you move it that way. 
Okay, this this actually makes your your model bigger. Your square in the middle there. And if you want to increase the size in the x-axis, you just grab the box here and with your right sorry, your left mouse button. Same with this one if you want to make your x or your y axis longer then you would grab this box and move it with your left mouse button. Alright, so now we've got this in place. We have to hit accept or use the uh, the hot, hot key A or alpha. Now we want to analyze. Uh, we're, we're not going to go through the inspector today. I just want to go through the overhang and analysis Okay, and once you once you click on the overhang analysis, then it's going to give you a red area where an areas that need support. Okay, so to generate your support structures, which are very much uh, they're very easy to to remove, unlike the structures that are generated in your print software. Okay, and you can see that you got little structures right here to help support little structures right there. These all have pointy ends on them, so where they meet the model, and they're very, very easy to, well, comparatively speaking, they're very easy to, to remove. Generally, if you grab you grab these structures with a needle nose pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers, they'll pop, they pop right out once the, once the model is cool. All right, so now we've got all of our structures built. As you can tell, uh, we're going to build this face down, and this this whole area on top here is going to be an overhang. And I've printed this several times already, and it's turned out fairly well. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and send this to our print software. Uh, and, and as you can tell, it gives you, it just shows you the representation of the item that you're going to print in the, in the box that uh, for your, for your replicator or for whatever device you're using. Okay. Once, once you've gotten all of this in the position where you want it, then we send it to MakerWare. Once you send it to MakerWare, you can print it just like everything else. There we go. And as you can see, it's it's put your structures in place uh, that pop out fairly fairly easy. All right, that's all for today's lesson. If you have any questions or if you uh, would like to have some input, go to our uh, blog and our webpage, imaginator3d.com, and uh, shoot us an email. Thank you very much. Until next time, happy printing. Okay, so we've got our, our printed uh, motor mount, and as you can tell, it's maybe hard to see the little see the little uh, parts that are inside of the. There we go. The lighting is kind of kind of bad, but you can see all the little. This is pretty much flat across, but these are all little posts in here that we're going to have to that we'll have to take out. Okay, you can see a better, see a better view of them right here. And we have to get all those out. We have to get the ones out that are in the in the tube as well. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to do it as a time lapse video, so that way you can see, uh, and it won't take as long to uh, how long how easy it is to pop all of these out. <laughs>